Hey, Kodandi here. A lot of people are asking me, how, how do I live? How do I support myself? As a sannyasi, as a Hindu monastic, I cannot be employed. I cannot work for money. I am supposed to be spending my time, you know, on spiritual pursuits and working for my guru's mission and not spending my time and energy working for my own profit. And so people wonder, like, how, how do you get your needs met? How do you live like that with no money? Essentially, when I came back from India, I didn't expect to be here in California supporting myself. I expected to be in an ashram. So I had like $200. And even now, I have less than $200 right now. Yeah, less than that. And essentially, essentially, I have to manifest what I need. And essentially, I am a beggar. And so there's a lot more to it than that. I mean, what, what do those things even mean? So first of all, I, I have been poor and self-employed for a very long time. And so I, I know how to fix things. I know how to find things for free and cheap. I know how to scavenge and dumpster dive. I mean, I haven't bought new stuff in such a long time because I've gotten really good at finding reasonable stuff that can be used, that can be fixed, you know, for free or cheap. I also belong to an alternative economic network community of people that do trade and barter and gift economy. And, you know, I have been involved in that for a very long time, long before I took sannyas. So for a very long time, I have been able to get a good amount of my needs met without the need for cash, currency. That's a good thing to have in your life in general. However, of course, there are things that, um, you know, I have not found a way to get uh, covered. So I rely on kind donors, you know, like this, this car was given to me right now. I'm looking for someone to, um, add me onto their AAA membership, um, so that I don't have to pay for my own because I mean, it's not that expensive, but I don't really have, you know, extra money to just be throwing around like that. So I'm, you know, looking for things like that. I, there are people that are happy to buy me groceries. There are people that are happy to put gas in my car. There are people that sometimes will just hand me cash. There are people that, you know, if I get stuck somewhere out in the world, I can call them up and be like, hey, I'm, I'm stuck. Can you send me some money? It's not a lot of people. Like, I'm definitely living on the edge. I mean, I drive this car until it is on empty and... You know, the universe, the cosmos, Paramashiva provides, you know, like I, I'm not going to run out of gas. I might freak out a little bit because I've got like two gallons left in the tank, but I will not run out of gas. I will find a way to manifest gas to fill the car and like car insurance on this thing is kind of expensive well my car insurance is kind of expensive and so I have no idea how I'm going to pay my car insurance next month and I need to I don't know somehow manifest that figure that out I maybe someone can add me onto their car insurance I don't know um and and cell phone the cell phone bill. Those are kind of the two that I, at this point in time, I'm needing cash for. The cell phone and the car insurance. Everything else I can, you know, sometimes kind of figure out. You know, gas, food. Uh, you know, it's helpful to have cash for those, but it's easier to, you know, get that stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I just have to trust that the cosmos will take care of me. 
and I have to trust that the cosmos will lead me to people who will help me and I give myself freely to my guru's mission to you know bring spiritual healing to people and people appreciate that like then I'm staying with some people right now one of the guys he's diabetic he has a history of stroke and I'm cooking I'm cooking vegan food and you know like the week that I've been there cooking vegan food for him he's been able to reduce his insulin usage and he's lost weight so you know just yeah they're they're helping me out a lot they're giving me a lot but also like I'm have this incredible healing service that I'm providing for them by being there cooking and helping them out and you know I don't expect anything in return you know I can't charge people money for healing and it's it's one of the things that I feel is really a strength that I really feel like my ability to heal is a strength and I am always always offering healing freely of course always send in your request for healing if you have a request for healing want a healing session but you know it's like when I give myself and my abilities and you know my guru's teachings and my guru's gifts when I give these things freely the universe takes care of me and my needs get met somehow if if you are a person that is called to help me out I am so greatly appreciate it people that help me out I add them to my sankalpa um, my you know like I, I chant their names I guess or mostly I you know remember their names as I'm doing my puja every morning um, if you are a person that is called to help me out if you go through um, you can see there are various ways that you can help me out um, but you know the universe will take care of me so I am incredibly grateful for all the people that help me out that send me money that put gas in my tank that you know feed me that you know let me use their showers and things like that and you know I just I have so much gratitude for the people of this world and for my guru and for the cosmos and you know this world is a beautiful place if you want to if you want to see it as such so okay Nityanandam. <laughs>